My cooking is very much inspired by my heritage. So my family are from Goa in the south of India. And one thing I did on the Great British Bake Off, I loved showcasing flavours from my heritage. So whether it was flavours like chai or cardamom, those were just things I really wanted to, to show because I really wanted to put my heritage on the map. Hello, I'm Christelle Pereira. I'm a cook and a baker. And today I'm here cooking one of my favourite dishes from my cookbook, Flavour Kitchen. These are Asian inspired spaghetti and meatballs. It's a really nice fusion twist on the classic spaghetti and meatballs and I think you're gonna love it. Okay, so first we're gonna prepare those lovely, delicious, juicy meatballs, but these aren't your standard meatballs. These are gonna be flavored with five spice. We've got aromatics going in and we're using pork mince to really kind of keep in with that lovely Asian theme. So this is pork mince and then you're just gonna basically add in all your flavorings. There's a lot going in, but that's on purpose. Don't forget, the book is called Flavor Kitchen, so every dish and every bite of every dish should really slap you around the face with flavor. And now, you can obviously mix with a spoon, but with meatballs, you wanna mix with your hands. You really want to make sure that all of that flavor is kind of really well dispersed in the pork. So, whilst your hands are dirty, you can now roll these into meatballs. So you can just break a bit off and then literally just roll it into a ball. So the inspiration behind this dish, for me, my comfort food is noodles and my favourite noodle is an udon noodle. So one day I was just thinking, oh, you know, about comfort foods and spaghetti and meatballs. And then I thought, oh, what if I swap the spaghetti with udon? Oh, I'm onto something. And then I sort of thought about the meatball and then I thought about, you know, pork and chive dumplings and trying to add a twist to the, to the meatballs. And I, I literally wrote on my phone, Asian inspired spaghetti and meatballs. And I just had it in my head, I said I need to go home and, and just test out this recipe. Okay, so now we're going to fry our meatballs. You're just basically browning them on the outside. Okay, so these are basically now cooked on both sides. It's only been a couple of minutes. So my oven is preheated to 425 Fahrenheit. So we're going to stick the meatballs in the oven for 10 minutes. They're going to cook through thoroughly and then we'll come back. Oh, don't those look? So good. They're caramelized, they're sizzling, and the smell of this kitchen is second to none. Look at that. And look at all those juices. Oh, yum. So now we're gonna start frying off our sauce. So from here on, it basically all happens very quickly, which is great. In all the residual sort of meatball juices, we're gonna fry off our aromatic. So we've got the white parts of the spring onions that I had prepped before. So we're gonna add those in. And then, for more aromatics, we've got lots of garlic. Like I said, I want every bite of this dish to slap you around the face with flavor, and six cloves of garlic I found was a perfect amount. But this is basically the equivalent of a, a tomato -y spaghetti sauce, but it's very unconventional because this is gonna be massively influenced by flavors of, of Asia. We're just gonna let that bubble and thicken ever so slightly, which gives us the right amount of time to make our noodles. Just want to stir them around and as soon as they separate then you can basically chuck them into the sauce so we're almost here now which is exciting so i told you it all happens very very quickly as soon as your meatballs come out the oven look at those this is why i love udon they're just they're so beautiful they're so sturdy they hold their own i love them so we're going to add this directly into the sauce oh my gosh i cannot wait to eat this and we're just going to let these noodles soak up that delicious sauce and it's all going to thicken. The noodles are going to soak the sauce up and it's just, oh gosh, it's, this smells incredible. I feel like this is almost done, which is the perfect time to add back in the stars of the show. The meatballs, obviously, wouldn't be spaghetti meatballs without them. So you're just going to chuck them straight in. Oh, yum. And now you can just start to see, this is looking like a scene from Lady in the Tram, but with a little twist. And you actually want to get your meatballs in there. You want them to soak up all that sauce as well. And they're going to look really glossy and shiny. Yum. Okay. These are my Asian-inspired spaghetti meatballs, but they're made with udon noodles. They are packed full of flavour that's so easy to make, so go make them now because they make the perfect midweek dinner or a lovely centrepiece as well. Recipe in my cookbook, Flavour Kitchen. Cheers, everyone. Mmm! Well, hey, 
Hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.